The friggin' genius. Even Jennifer's into this guy. What'd you call his name again? Um, Alu, uh, Crayola Fedadici. I don't know. Friggin' unpronounceable name. But dude's got the brain of 1,001 people. So does it. All right, so. Tough luck. I don't see this getting fixed anytime soon. Mm -hmm. You're going to make it work. I need the coordinates up and running before noon. Coyote, take a look at it. Crayola who? <laughs> Coyote, Nigeria's Einstein. There's nothing he can't fix. He ain't got no fancy degrees, but uh, he has like, what, 300 patents? Oh, impressive guy. Yeah. He's going to make a lot of dough for sure. Mm -hmm. Tell me he ain't married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ladies are smitten. Straight to the marriage question? <laughs> yeah. What?
Excuse me, sir. Could you spend spare 50 cents? I just want to buy a burger and fries. I haven't eaten in three days. Um, you know what? You have it. You've earned it. Can I pray for you? You want to pray for me? To the big man up there with the Asian rock star hair and the white, long white birds that manages the affairs of the universe? <laughs> I don't think so. I'll pass. What have you got to lose? Prayer doesn't kill you. Well, I beg to differ. You obviously haven't been to Nigeria, have you? Well, in Nigeria, prayers kill more people than mosquitoes. Someone is dying of prayers as we speak right now. How's that? Come here. Let me pray for you. You know what? I just don't believe in your God. S say he exists. Will you tell him to get his big ass off and go rescue the, the, the Chibok girls in Sambasa Forest? I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't get that. Of course you didn't. Well, while you're at it, can you also tell him to get that bastard Dave off my back? You know, sir, for someone with a beautiful accent, you sure do speak rough. Seriously? You, you know, with someone without a dime to their name, I think you're really gullible. And if you don't mind me saying so, from where I stand, I don't see much of what your God has done for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for lunch. You're welcome. So, yeah, that's what 
you guys got two losses, right? So Don't worry about that. We're going to bounce right back. Wrong on both counts. Impossible? Well, life is death, and death is life. Our life here is actually akin to death for our soul. Our death is like a new birth for our soul. A rebirth into a higher reality. But ah, you, you are an atheist. But who am I to shove my goo up your nose? As to cruel, she bought it on her own head. She pissed off a great man. That's why. Who did she offend? Tell me. I'll make amends. This is a statue. I bought this statue. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Laugh all you want. That guy there is a king. Is that the way you treat a king? Putting the picture of a significant other on his head? No! Your wife will pay with her own life. Whomsoever is put upon the head of the king will be smoked like a stick of cigarette. <laughs> Baby, you need to see this. Seriously. What is the score? I thought you were watching the match in your dream. Are you okay? You just... Due to the Liam Glorious Messi, Arsenal has no chance. That team, we're off the hook. Yeah, that's why you guys got two losses in a row, right? Don't worry about that. We will bounce back. Bounce back to the bottom, right? That's what you said. That's what Drake said. Drake. Just five minutes. And you slept off. Okay. Um. Do you believe dreams come true? Dreams? Of course. When I was a kid, I used to dream of coming to America. Getting married to a proud and rich guy. And here I am in America. Married to a proud guy that was something. Just sell the target and buy me a Bentley and I'll tell you about dreams. Everybody just leave my lawn. Jeez. What are they here? Leave my lawn. I'll, 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 I'll still pay you money. Freak. Go. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yo, Can you go? Hey, babes. Okay. I'm fine. Perfect. Fit out of you, though. Are we still going for the match? Let's get out of here, beg, let's go.
Everyone's keeping them. Easy, Jen. They'll be here any moment for them. I know. Cool it. I'm on your side here, remember? Can't fail to notice, though. Aren't you always a little bit anxious whenever Coyote Day is around? What do you mean? Do you love him? <laughs> How much of that have you had to drink? You do love him, don't you? He's my friend. And a genius. Christ! If I hear one more time how much of a genius that monkey is, I will scream. Hey, 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 everybody. Sorry we're late. There was an emergency. This one fainted. <sighs> but she's fine now. Baby, sit down. Sweetheart. <sighs> Please, don't mind him. He has arteries. Only had migraine. Um, what is going on with both of you? You look like you've seen a ghost. Um, <laughs> red wine? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's have a drink. drink. <laughs> Sweethearts, it's just a glass of wine, it's gonna hurt. Okay. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, baby, and I'm happy for you. Calm now. I'm coming, okay? Babe, come, let's go to bed. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, my love. Yeah, watch your shoes. What's all this now? You're making messes everywhere. I'm sorry. <sighs> Come, let's go to bed. Jennifer. Jennifer is such a sweet girl. Jennifer is an angel. Jennifer said we need to be more together. Shut up now. We did leave us up, they'll call the cops. I'm sorry. What's funny? We are going to be multi millionaires. Why would Jennifer tell you all that? And you buy me my baby blue Bentley, and I'll drive it from Atlanta to Ajata. Oh my god! <laughs> This is why I say you're drunk. There's no one here. What's up, Jennifer? <laughs> She's a sweet girl. <laughs> Ferrero, Bigiri, uh, Amala, fried rice, jollof rice. Eh, but more all those things, eh? <laughs> too much. What is, what is for lunch? I'm hungry, man. <laughs> <I'm hungry. laughs> You're not even lucky that you have conflicts. What do you take me for? Mama put. You know, I get a feeling you don't, you know, respect me in this house anymore. My dear husband, I, I try, but so far, we know who is disappointing who in this house. Seriously. Oh. Coyote is a genius. Coyote will make you one hell of a bride. How about this one? You will never be poor ever again. That is what they told me when I got married to you. What they never told me was that I would be working my ass off every day to pay the money to my car in this damn shitty hell of a hole. Because 
this house dump. This house. You know, you need to be careful. I'm still the one that wears the pants in this house. Oh! <laughs> my dear husband, I'm very sorry. I think there's something wrong with my eyes because I don't seem to see the pants. Really? When they denied you visa, who was the one with the balls to do the needful? I did. And what do I get for it? What do I get for it? So far, I've been the same amount of money you bring into this house. Why don't you go out there and make it rain before you start demanding for a furry roll or a dick and go out the likes of it? Oh, please. Perish the sarcasm. You know who we are in this house. You know that I own you, right? Okay, you know a few secrets. Skeletons. And now you think you own me. <laughs> You're really an idiot. Oh, yes, I am. Or else I would still be helping you. You know what I'm thinking right now? What I'm thinking right now is, when would I stop being an idiot and go report you to the police? You need to be careful. You're blackmailing me now. <laughs> you kill me. Eh? You kill me. Yeah. <sighs> Sweetheart. Why don't you kill the fear? Why don't you push harder? There are a lot of people that want to help you out there. Why don't you take advantage of it? Eh? Baby, you know I love you, eh? We love you. Why don't you do this for us, please? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I really appreciate this, sir. Um, Don't mention it. Don't mention it at all. Uh, I thought you were going to give me a check, sir. Check? Checks are for pansies. You're not a pansy, are you? Dr. Kalito deals only in cash money. Eh, 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 eh. You're going to pay me $1,000 every week. Interest. I thought we agreed that after I've sold it, I'll give you 100% of what you gave me, which is 200000 <laughs> Profit. What's a good doctor going to live on before you sell it? $1,000 per week. Are you in or out? I'm in. Good. What is the hidden guarantees of this money? Um, I'm sure there are conditions I don't know about yet. <laughs> conditions? <laughs> conditions? What about guarantees? I've got my guarantees. These are my guarantees. Your limbs. You break your promise, and we break your limbs. <laughs> come on, come to that, son. Trust me. The Benjis. Cash money, that's the trust. Know that, respect that. And me and you? We'll be fine.
Kelly, who are your competitors? Well, we, we know them out there, but they have nothing. Here's what we have our presence. So I'll show you. From our projections, it's going to take the competitors at least 10 years to come up with a generic version of what we have. And beyond that, the Martha Blueprint secret is known by me and me alone. I've not revealed it to any soul. That makes it completely safe. Wow. Okay. Well, any more questions for the lady and gentlemen? All right, well, as I mentioned, we'll be right back to you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I think this is going to work. It's a complete waste of time. It's not hard enough. It's going to be fun. Well, look around you. This is the playground of the rich. It's a province of all the of the Harvard boys, the Harvard rich kids, the, the, the Yale, the, the Michigan. But they, they think they're going to take the technology of a black man seriously. You're just overthinking things because you're nervous. Sit down. Well, you've deliberated over the proposal, and uh, and Kaoli, I, I have to tell you, your work is absolutely brilliant, except for her. Uh, the one drawback we have is this $5 million startup, which is a little too... Oh, sorry, that's not the problem. We can reduce it. We can totally reduce it, can we? Well, that's not what I was going to say. Actually, I was going to say it's not enough. See, we've looked at the product, we've looked at the marketing plan, and if it's okay with you, we're going to have to start with six million to get this going. Yes, Hey, how did it go? Hey. Well, um, they said I should work hard on it and then give me another chance to present it to them. They work on it? God! Do I have to teach you everything? I'm trying the best I can. Of course you are. I'm working hard. Yes, I can see. <clears throat> You're not playing at all. That is why you fail to impress the freaking people that you're supposed to impress, right? You're just a tigress. You just want to push me every day, every minute. With your foot on the throttle. You don't want to let go. Anyway. That's why I love you. <laughs> Let's get back to work. You know, work just got very interesting. As a matter of fact, I mean, I'm looking at the portrait of a millionaire. Thinking about three months of show, six million.
I'll get right to the point. Dave says there's a couple of issues that need to be resolved between the two of you. Does he have a problem with me? Well, I'm not interested in assigning blame. I just want to be sure that you two can work well together. So does he have a problem with my work? Actually, it's not about your work. It's about ours. What are you saying? You know exactly what he's saying. You have our work under your wraps. What does it mean? Stargate. Stargate belongs to us. Yeah, we're not trying to take your baby. You'll still be in charge. It'll be your department. Your hires, your fires, corner office, your department. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna triple your salary. You'll be a poster boy for Jim Holdings. Yeah. You actually tried to sweet me up before you steal from me. You work with us. Stargate belongs to us. We, we cannot be stealing what belongs to us, Coyote. Why, why is this so hard for you to understand? Mr. Montego, Mary. Hey, call me Tom. Mr. Montego Mary, the way you hired me, there were certain terms of agreement, right? Mm -hmm. You made it clear to me that I could do work on the site. You were even gracious enough to say that I can use office time and equipment to do my work. I neither used office time and equipment to do this work. Liar! Liar! You know what? I've had it. I've, really, I've, I've, I've had it. I've, I've, I've had enough. The only reason I came to this meeting was to say something. What? I quit. You, you can't just quit and walk out on us like that. I just did. It's unethical. It's uncivilized. Remember, Liberia. Ah! He gets it. He's not scared. <laughs> Move. I'm going to try to We'll handle this another way. Are you okay? Yes, yes, yeah, I'm okay. Um, I was just thinking, yeah, when all this is over, maybe we can just relocate to Miami. What, do you what think? am I going to do in Florida? <laughs> Sita is always sunny there, with all the biggest shopping malls in town. <laughs> Sita, I'm sure you love it. I want to go to Silicon Valley. That's where all the players are, are now. Silicon Valley? Uh, baby, what am I going to be doing there now? You know how boring it is over there? Eh. So it's always about you. You, you, you are never about me, Abby. Abby? Okay. Just shut up. Sometimes I think all you want is what you get out of this. What I get out of this? What have you ever done for me? Am I not the one always sacrificing for you? But you won't blame yourself.
Oh my God. What's wrong, babe? <laughs> I broke up with the bomb today. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's just... It feels really good and really bad at the same time. What happened? I just... I just felt so dead inside. That relationship had just hit a dead end a long time ago. All that son of a bitch cared about was his cannabis and his conspiracy theories. I don't care if the Illuminati killed John F. Kennedy or if the Titanic was sunk by aliens from Mars. I just want a man I can respect and love. Let's go to bed. Baby, you know, I have a deadline. I have to finish this work. Hmm. Yeah. Deadline. I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, babe, I really need to finish this work, okay? Okay, know. all right. See, we can turn this. No, no, no. I know where this is leading me, but come on, don't stop. Well, I, okay, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for it to come out that way, but no, I really need to finish this work. Oh, oh. <laughs> deadline, Abby. Your side cheek calls. Baby, she's not my psyche. Give me the phone. Baby, give me the phone. Stop acting. You can't be doing this now. You're pregnant. Our, our relationship is not like that. It's, it's completely above board and child. Okay? Okay. Calm down. I believe you. Truly, I do. Of course you believe me. It's not like I'm doing anything. Hello? This is not good. What isn't? Check the Taskmaster website. What is there? Um, the bastard Dave. Stargate. Listen, um, give me a minute, I'll call you back. There's absolutely no reason for this meeting. We own this material outright. You went behind my back and stole my work. You went behind my back and pitched it to Miramax. We got what was ours. You were going to scam us, were you? Come on. We all knew you were Nigerian, but we didn't assume you were that type of Nigerian. 
You know, I'm not going to rush your pay today. I came here to tell you that in fact that I'm not going to take this line low. But you will take it lying down. Tell me, what are you going to do? What I'm going to do? You'll be hearing from my lawyers. I'll make both of you wish you didn't go to school. <laughs> my dear Coyote, have you ever asked yourself why Menoret dumped you? Have you? Because you lied to them. <laughs> Spare me. Those guys are big boys, hawks. They're predators who know how to play the game. They offered you, what, six mil? And yet they threw you over to pay us 50 million. Why? Because you're a nobody, a freak, a business risk. <sighs> we just made them see reason. Well, my lawyer will make you see reasons in court. It'll never get to court. Even you are not that powerful. Oh, no, of course not. But it's not about my power. It's about your weakness. We know all about it, Coyote. You are an illegal immigrant. What is he talking about? You know very well what we're talking about. The story is really sweet already. The struggling, underappreciated, genius wasting away in Nigeria whose wife won the U.S. Diversity Lottery and heroically brought her husband to the States to lay his hands on a piece of that old American dream after which both were supposed to live happily ever after? <laughs> Hot wash. Nonsense. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. Don't think that I'd be rushing to court, Dele Jagoon. I don't know what you're talking about. Or don't you now, Dele? You came here on a limited business visa, but rather than attend the conference you were supposed to, you went AWOL. Met your pretty wife who introduced you to a top-notch forger. And presto. You stole the identity of Coyote Ajajafin. <laughs> By the way, perished in an automobile accident while visiting his beloved country, Nigeria. And voila! Dele Jagu becomes Keode Ajajafi, the genius. Keode Ajajafini is dead. Died in his troubled country, Nigeria. That is who you are. Dead man walking. You fucking coward. You take us to court, we'll have to defend ourselves. Naturally, we'll have to reveal your true identity. You think that's advisable? You'll be here for my loss. Don't expect the boys from Minaret to bail you out. They know the score. That, and they dumped you. Drop you like a hot potato. <laughs> <laughs> So there's nothing you can do about this? It's out of my hands. I even made a pitch to get you $100,000 for your trouble, and the board overruled it. That's it then. We have liabilities. Our liabilities ended when we learned about your lies, Coyote. Or should I say, Della Jagoon? What are you talking about? This man is not who he claims to be. He's been living in the country on an illegal passport. That's just too much risk for us. Bullshit. Okay, so maybe he has a fake passport, but does he have a fake brain? Does this keep you from using his work? This is blackmail. We're going to sue you. And he will be deported, and he will probably go to jail. And for what? Perjury? Criminal forgery? They'll probably get him on both. And your life will be ruined, Coyote. Is that what you want? But what will his life matter if his life's work, the theft of his life's work, goes unchallenged? I am not a philosopher. I'm a businessman. And this little matter, this is between you and Jim Holdings. I'm sorry. This meeting is over. I thought you said the guy was dead. It's not a question of if it's fake. 
This is the real deal given to us by the insider. God. How did you find out? It doesn't matter. It's over. That's it. You're just going to roll over and let them fuck you. I warned you about this thing before. You did not listen. You were hell bent on it. It has been around. Deal with it. <laughs> so it's not my fault. Eh? Kayade? It's not my fault. Can you just listen to yourself? See you. See yourself. See yourself! Woomara! Ah, wake up! Fuck on Rosa! Go on there and prove that you are a man! Break someone's leg if you have to! Look at you! Look at you! Pick it like a woman! Go on there and do something! Wake up! Baby, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for everything. It's just that I don't want you to give up. We can still win. Johnny comes marching home again. <laughs> Those great sons of bitches, the Republicans and the Democrats, makes no difference. Both just trying to screw us. It's what they love to do. Only difference between those two goddamn parties is in their choice of a bunch of Americans who want to screw. This word is not fair to the poor. I haven't said that. I'm going to buy you another round. God bless you, man. Inside that bottle? That bottle. This bottle? That bottle. Uh, it's honey water! <laughs> Are you coming? Hey, it's not working, bro. Look up the <laughs> Oh, it's hot! 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 Seriously, I can't take this anymore. Then go away. Go! 
can see you have a big problem. You're depressed. I could be more buoyant. You wanted me to waste my whole life on you. I am me. I'm going to Silicon Valley, where I will meet Mr. Steve Jobs. Hey, you loser! Because I'm coming to steal your Boom! No, I, I can't deal with this right now. Talk about this. Boy's drunk. What are we drinking these days, genius? You know something? You've been defaulting the last few months. No messages, no phone calls. That's not good, is it? That's something down before something does happen. <sighs> I am. I don't get you. No, 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 no. Look very closely, my friend. This is what happens. Every one of those body parts belonged to one of my clients for whom something came up. Do you understand? How many can you one week to pay the three weeks that you are? And if not, I'm sure I'm going to be sure. I'm going to be sure. I'm going to be sure. I'm going to experience your life. I'm going to be sure. There's no problem. I will not disappoint you. Thank you very much for doing this for us. Oh, <laughs> <you're okay. laughs> uh, I'll call you in Hey, mister, 
Can you spare me some 50 cents? I haven't had breakfast. I would love to, but I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm tight. You sure are tight. You sure are rude. Hey, how are you? Um, I have something to show you. This is like, like, like the apple of hair. The Microsoft of hair. This is it. Human hair, but he's telling me in here to cut it and sold it to my sources. It's 100% not synthetic or one of these things. I'm telling your doctors who recommend it. Do you know Indians, right? Uh, don't worry. I'll, 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 I'll. Hmm. Let me tell you the samples I have. I have the cause, the, the street, everything I have is in my back. My sources are ready to do business with you anywhere. Thank you, anyway. I like this hair, it looks nice. But not right now. Ah, uh, I may need your card if you don't have a card. If you have a card, I can call you to come over. But then not tonight? Everybody, what is wrong with you? What has God got to do with the card? What are you got to do with dinner? What do you have a card on you? Walking around like since you did for yesterday. Everybody keeps saying they want my card. They, 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 they don't come back. At least you own you, you say you want to have dinner. I'm, I'm really sorry, sir. I what? just, you can't buy one and you want to buy dinner. What is your name, sir? Wait, wait. Hey, you're so frustrated. Can can you sell a dollar for ninety cent? Try harder. Are you not listening to me? I've done my best. There's nothing further to do. So what do you want me to do? I'm just saying there's a problem. We have to find a way to solve it. Point of correction. A problem you have to solve. I've given you payment for three weeks. I've introduced you to a new line of business. What else do you want me to do? Give you my blood? Give me another loan. No. Yes. No, I can't. I mean, I've stretched myself thin. Stretch yourself thin? Yes. Kalito would break my legs. He showed me pictures. Coyote, I beg, try harder. You need to try harder. That's what my wife always says. You know, you should meet her. Should have liked you. I'm serious. People need your product. Of course, they need my product. I just sold a gazillion of this is over here. I sold a one million there. Uh, some of I'm selling so much of my product, even the manufacturers cannot keep up. In fact, they had to shut down. I'm making so much money, my armpit is full of mercury. Let me help you with it. I mean your products. Let me help you sell them. How are you going to help me sell them? I just came from there and they, they don't even want to see me. Why would they listen to you? That'll make us equal, pal. You're late. So are you. Nine minutes. I'll pardon you today. But tomorrow, no excuses. Let's go. 
Besides, you need a tie. You got one in your backpack. Hey, how do you know? Follow me. How did you do that? It's the way I walk. It's magical. You should learn how to walk to see if your problems disappear. So you say you just walk into a room and they look at your pretty face and there's a grab button and everything is gone. I make them see reason. There are ways. Ancient ways. Who are you? My name is Zainab. I told you that this business was lucrative. Can't you see? I did! I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I got someone to help me. This girl, she never set up her Are you cheating on me? What is wrong with you? I look like a pedophile. She just like him. Well, I like to meet her. <laughs> I finally have enough to pay Khalif back. I hope it's enough. Yes. Now go in. What's that? You have to be the only house at Zainab that doesn't know what Nagode is. I told you, I spent a thousand hours in Nigeria, and that's it. After that, my parents died, and I'd never been there. Nagode means thank you, Nausa. No? All right. I want you to meet my wife, okay? Hang on a minute. Babe, come here. I want you to meet somebody. Meet Zena. Dave. Eh, answer it now. I don't want to. Answer your phone now. Answer it. Yes. Today is your lucky day. What is the reason for this call? We have a new proposition for you. My uncle and I have thought long and hard about your case. And we've decided that we're going to let bygones be bygones. That means, Dave, it means you're going to steal what you already stole. Let's not get into that. Why are you calling me? You have your job back. With salary and perks. In return, you will man resound. God geeks. You want to play hard to get? Okay. We'll give you 5%. Fuck off. You want me to come back, get my old job back, plus 5% perks. In return, I man my project for them. Can you believe the gall of these people? Uh -huh. Take it. What do you mean? Do you know that people are after your life we don't feel safe anymore. Everything has gone wrong. Just take this as a lifeline. It's not life, it's death. Kaidi, why are you doing this now? Listen, I have Kalito's money. All I have to do is get a job and find a way to pay Brimond. I'll bounce back. No, 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 I'm not going to let them play me. I'll bounce back and they've not had the last of me. Kaidi, Kaidi, Kaidi. 
bring the money. How much is in there? Um, four thousand. Was this for four weeks? Uh, uh I defaulted a bit, but 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 I, I will not anymore. I will owe him some money. I I just need a little time to sort those things back. I I have a little problem. You get all your money, I promise. <laughs> He promises. <laughs> a little genius boy promises he's going to pay on time from now on. He promises. <laughs> Things will run smoothly for now. Just give me a little time. Don't worry about it. Shut up. What do you think? Dr. Colito is a fool? What do you think? Dr. Colito just throws away his money without knowing what's happening? Well, I'm going to prove you wrong. You've been removed. You don't have a project anymore. No, 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 no. I can explain that. You see, they stole my project from me, but I'm going to fight back with everything I, I, I put, to put it back. And as soon as I bring it back, I'll make sure that everything works smoothly. I will make sure all your money come back to you. Shut up, sit down. You've got one thing right. My money will come back to me. You have one week to get me all my money. $200,000 cash, just like you had it. But you gave me a hundred thousand. It's profit. It's profit. <laughs> you know something? You're not as decent as a guy as I thought you were. You want Dr. Colito to do business without making a profit. <laughs> You're a very bad man. <laughs> if you want to stay alive on that side of the desk, you better have my money by next week. Get him out of here. <laughs> Two hundred thousand dollars by next week. Hmm? You know what Dr. Colito to those the people who deprive him of his cold hard cash. He kills them. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Sure. Okay. What? What's what? How did you get my number? Look at this. Mind your business. What is wrong with you? I have to leave town. My, my life flies low already. They're calling my flight. Bye. Do you think we will solve the problem? Jesus. Jesus.
You'll get everything back. It's a 21 day ritual. The supplicate will stay as though dead for 21 days. Travel to the land of the spirit. Do battles and free your fortune. Your enemies will think to use their power over you, but there are greater powers. So if I perform this right, Kalito will get off my back and I'll get my software back. You'll have much more. The fog will clear and the destiny should be made apparent. There will be no more stumbling blocks. Let's start today. You can't do it. Why not? I want to start today. You're too weak. You don't have sufficient faith. My faith is strong. I will do anything to get out of this horrid destiny. Your destiny isn't horrid. You're simply being tested. Well, if I'm being tested and allow me to travel to the land of the spirit and face these devils myself that have brought these misfortunes upon me. You are your own devil. You are your own angel. You're merely fighting your own shadows. This is too much for you. Too much? What is too much? I will tell you what is too much. It is too much that Dr. Kalito threatens to cut off my limbs and split my head. It is too much that I watch six million come within my horizon and vaporize like smoke before me. It is too much that every day my wife disrespects me because I have no money and because I refuse to give in to my oppressors. I would do anything to get out of this. I hope you break the jinx. We will be dividing this work into two. Read this every day at 7 p.m. for the next 21 days. Fast for 21 days, breaking your fast at 7. Don't have sex or talk to people for these 21 days. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get your prototype, the latest version. Do you still have it? Yes. Place it in front of the mirror in a way that it won't move. If it moves, there will be consequences. What consequences? I'll die, and your love will get even more rotten. Ah, uh, uh, well, I can't allow you that. That's too high a risk. You aren't allowing me. I make my own choices. You will have to come every evening to recite chapter 15 of the text I have given you over my still body. If I do not move, everything's fine. I will awake on the 21st day. If I do move or get agitated, all isn't well, and I might soon die. Remember, on no account should you allow anyone to get inside the room or touch the original facing the mirror. Go.
just go to the police? Because if you go to the police, you get me arrested. That's it. He's got me and out there and they can still do his dirty work for him. Seriously, I don't understand all this is to help us. I don't! Stay out of it. As long as you stay out of it, everything will be fine. So, why are you making a big fuss out of this? Because if you get involved, it will, someone could get hurt. Someone could even die. <laughs> I hope you're not talking about your ridiculous house, I girl. What are you doing? I'm sorry. They made me an offer I couldn't refuse. What about us? What about what we have together? Uh, what we have? You've always been so conceited, Coyote. This is what we have. What Dave and Carl stole? It's incomplete. They need this. They begged me, and they offered me more than 10% for it. Just, 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 just carefully hang out. Let's find somewhere nice to sit down and talk about this comedy. You can't do this. My life awaits. Jennifer. Now you're holding the life of a dear one. I will not let her die. Give me back my work. I 
I'm going to come to 10. Anything you see, it's your responsibility. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Lost his marbles. Frankly, he never really had many to begin with. Seven. Eight. We don't need him anymore. What? It's over. Nine. Ten. Jennifer Madeline. We got what we want. Jennifer Madeline. Jennifer Madeline. So sorry it has to come to this. But I want you. What's going on? There's someone I'd like you to meet. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm an ardent admirer of your work. What's going on? The Opal work. One of the software that was the precursor of Stargate. But that was no good. I trashed it. <laughs> on the contrary. Someone actually submitted it for a contest. And the CRDP has been using it and attributing its source to someone else. That must have been my old officer. He's the only one that had it. It was never our intention to steal your work. All this time, we were under the impression that someone else owned your work. We spoke with her as soon as we found out. She was the only contact we had. She told me everything that was going on. But rest assured, I have full authority to negotiate with you. Am I in trouble? On the contrary. The CRPD would like to buy your work outright for the sum of 100 million U.S. dollars. In exchange, we will give you exclusive preserve of the CRPD. Also, we will be issuing you a permanent resident card under Aliens with Extraordinary Abilities. This is impossible. It's not happening. I see. The money is not enough. I can go to 200 million U.S. dollars, but I'm not authorized to exceed that amount. Excuse me. This is beyond me. This is beyond my power. I don't know you. He told me that I gave him the best blow job he's ever had. Ah! <laughs> oh, Eva, you try. Everything you think you had was a big mistake. You must be such an idiot. Now, who has the man? And the 200 million dollars. That's me. So have a nice time in jail. Bye-bye. Coyote, please! <laughs> 
Oh, Dave. Uh, I love this. Excuse me, sir. Can you spare 50 cents for the homeless and the hungry? Don't I know you somewhere? Pardon me, sir? You're the man that tried to pray for me. And you're the man who said God did not exist? Does he exist now? Answer for yourself. You're looking for her in all the wrong places, by the way. Who is she? Where is she? She's a star in heaven. She's everywhere. By the way, can you spare 50 cents, please? For you, my friend, I have a hundred. Just saying, she knows what to do. 